Okay, I wiped most of it off, but uh, <laughs> it goes to show you when I get here early in the morning how tired I am. Here's my breakfast. There's part of what's on there. I took this drink, and I thought the lid was on, so I wanted to shake it up. So I went like this, and I shook it. The lid was off, and it went, went everywhere. Uh, oh. Good thing I live close. Got to go home and change now. Hey, welcome to 2018. Oh, my gosh. I got... Yuck, I got vitamin water in my ear. Yep, it's a crazy start to the new year. I'm glad you guys are back with us. Welcome everyone to the channel. Happy New Year once again. And real quick, let me just say, on our last two vlogs, they were monster long vlogs. <laughs> Sorry about that. I didn't mean to put you to sleep. <laughs> but here's the thing, we did so much this past year and I didn't share everything that I wanted to. So if there's somebody that we had you on the vlog and you weren't in the year highlights, believe me, you're still on the vlog. The intention was to keep that thing around 15 minutes, and of course I blew that out of the water. <laughs> I mean, if you threw commercials in, that sucker could have been an hour long. <laughs> but we've got so many newcomers to the channel. There's been so much support out there talking about what we're doing, promoting the car, and giving you guys a different perspective out here. I mean, you guys love cool sports cars. You love Corvette. Well, I'm a retailer, but I too am one of you. I love the car too. So together, we're sharing a great community here, and I appreciate all that support. And a lot of the new subscribers, once again, welcome. Welcome everybody. Our thanks to the great support and the kind feedback we get from guys like Chuck at his Corvettes 918 channel. So yeah, I had those longer vlogs, the one before Christmas and the year-end highlights, so you had an idea of what we were all about, what I was all about as a person, as a Corvette fan, as an enthusiast, and as a retailer. Put it all together, bam! We got a YouTube channel, baby! We've got some more giveaways coming up, and I've got a lot of great ideas in this head, but I know that you have to move one step at a time. Some of you that I've talked to off camera, you know that I want to do everything right now. <laughs> Who knows, maybe we get a big sponsor and that would make one of these ideas I have just go boom, here you go. <laughs> uh, Corvette is the coolest car on the planet, man. It just is. You know what else is really cool? It's all the comments you guys made. I read every one of your comments. Even if I don't reply, I'm reading the comments. And I'm not looking to get my ego stroked. I'm looking to do a great job for you guys. I want you to be informed. I want you to be entertained. And I want to get bigger. And I want to get better. So good or bad, I listen to that feedback. I really, truly do. So thank you again. And again, the motivation that when you see a thumbnail and you click it and you play, you subscribe, all that stuff is so cool in the community that we're building. To be motivated to watch the channel and then actually start typing and responding and engaging, <laughs> that is powerful. And it means so much to me, it really does. Let me share this with you if I may. And this, and this was posted on Corvette Forum. He says, Rick, I wanted to thank you for your enjoyable vlogs throughout the year. Even though I don't subscribe to your vlog, I lurk on the forum on a constant basis, as the forum brings me a sense of community. I recognize that it takes time to shoot, edit, produce, and display your work. I'm sure there are days when you wonder if it's worth the effort. Just so you know, you have a fan in Alpharetta, Georgia. I'm 54 years old, and I have a 2016 7-speed yellow C7R Corvette. <laughs> wow, man, that's a great car. It is a rare event for me to throw a compliment, but your videos entertain me on many early mornings. You have great positive energy, excellent production value, and you rival professional broadcasters. Happy New Year for 2018 for you and your family. Keep up the great work, Brad in Georgia. Brad, I could dissect this in so many ways, positive ways. Uh, I'll save that for off camera and for my little mindset here, but uh, this really, uh, this really means a lot. So thank you for taking the time to do that and share it. And I'm glad I could share it on the vlog. I want everybody to know we're on the right track, man. We're on the right track. So thank you so very much. And also, real quick, let me just talk about the vlog recap that we posted. Again, that's a longer vlog. Watch that. You'll get a chance to really get an idea of who we are, what we are. It, and it's all about you guys. And it's all about the car that we dig very much. But in regards to the prank, a couple of people made some comments on the prank. Uh, you may have not seen that vlog, but what led up to Sandy's comment at the end there where she says, Owen, oh, we got $200 off, which was hilarious. And I was trying, 
I was trying so hard. This this whole idea came together with their son, Sean. I'm getting ready, and, and it's like, and I was almost hesitant to do that prank because they were such nice people, and I didn't want to upset them, but I thought, well, here, if you're going to do this YouTube thing, you're going to be sensational, you got to get some reaction. So I kept, I just kept throwing things at them, and they just weren't reacting the way that I want. I wanted them to get mad. I wanted them to yell at me. I was <laughs> like, okay, if we're going to prank them, let's blow this sucker up. So I'm throwing stuff at them, and I said it was an $8,000 damage. You didn't see that in the highlight clip, but to those of you that saw the vlog know what I mean. I said it's $8,000 worth of damage, and hey, we'll get the car fixed, and for your consideration, I'm going to give you $200 off. And I thought for sure they were cold. What are you freaking nuts? <laughs> Drop an F-bomb. Do something. And she just froze. And what you couldn't see on camera, and they couldn't see because their heads were ducked down. Oh, man, I almost blew the whole thing. So I'm turning my face like this, and as I'm saying it, you almost... I guess I, I, I have a different type of broadcast here, uh, but you almost can hear a little bit of grin in my voice because I was starting to laugh. I almost blew the stupid prank. And then when they walked into the cleanup area, they didn't even see all the signs in the windows. It was just, it was really neat. It was a highlight of 2017. They're great people, great Corvette people, and they're driving the wheels off their beautiful Grand Sport, and I appreciate their spirit. Coming up, and we said it first on this YouTube channel, the 2018 Corvettes were going to be one of the lowest production Corvette years ever. Well, guess what? It was. We're going to share that information with you in an upcoming vlog, including dissecting the total production of Carbon 65 Corvettes, that special edition car for 2018. Let's kick off 2018 with a couple of clips that I was able to film. I, I didn't get everybody because it was just that intense and crazy busy, but there was a couple of folks just before the new year that picked up their Corvettes, and it, they weren't going to let anything get in their way. This first guy is Dan. It came down from Avon Lake, Ohio, and he's trying to get this car. We're locked up in the showroom, lined up for the finance department, and he just wants to hurry up and get out of here <laughs> because snow was coming. And regardless, that car was going to be in his garage over the Christmas holiday weekend. Here's Dan from Ohio. Hey, high five, brother. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. I, and I wanted to hurry up. I mean, it's just before Christmas. I don't know if you can see out there. Dude, it's freaking snowing. Because you ordered this car. Oh, yeah. Carbon 65 Grand Sport with that. Oh, look at this shirt. Yes. <laughs> you talk about a guy coming prepared, and he did it. <laughs> you, and you took my recommendation on that, and I appreciate that. You ordered the ceramic brakes the carbon ceramic yep. brakes yep. it's not you know to me and we talked about this earlier that you have that completed package on a carbon 65 car i mean i, I think the car should have come that way but i mean yeah. you said okay don't worry i'll take care of it and you ordered it but yep. i think you're gonna love love that car oh yeah. you really are oh, it's good he's excited he's excited and ashton if you're watching i mean he got excited seeing your car and i think that was a little little motivation a little push over the edge to get this car but i know too you were um you were looking at some other cars. I think you were looking at Maserati and Porsche as well, correct? Maserati, Porsche, uh, Cadillac, Mercedes. Okay. Um, all of them. Dude, Corvette come on the top. Corvette was hands down the best car. Is this your first one? This first Corvette? my very first Corvette. First this ever. Is my very first new car that I'm purchasing all myself. I want him to see his car. You know how that reaction is when you first see your car? Now, he was so excited, he knew the weather was gonna turn. I mean, yesterday was 55 degrees. You just better drive like an old lady on the way home, brother. Wow. Unreal. <laughs> Don't worry about me, man. Do whatever you want to do. Unbelievable. It's depressing when you got to pick it up like this, but I think you look past all that, you know? Because it is what it is. It's beautiful. Blue stitching inside. Ain't that something? It's awesome. Dan actually said, he goes, you know what? He goes, this will be an owner's manual. I actually read. <laughs> <laughs> you got that right. Oh, Couple my gosh. Times. Hey, congratulations. You got car number. Let's see if we can zoom on that. Car number 477 out of 650. Oh, my gosh. I'm so that. excited for you. Yep. You know, thank you very much, Rick. And, dude, I just I want to thank you because being a part of your first ever, not only new car purchase, but your first ever Corvette, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes, and I know it's unusual to find me a loss for words, but seriously, uh, it, it's a great honor to me, and it's a pleasure. Uh, I've had a blast working with you. Oh, it's been great. Dude, you've been, you just been, you've been awesome. I mean, seriously. And trying to make it easy for you, make it easy for us, but make it enjoyable, uh, make it an informed purchase. I, I can't believe the deal, and it, it's just wonderful. Thanks, man. 
I appreciate it very much. Now, because we've been so busy, I actually, I'm gonna ask him real quick, we're gonna drive the car for the very first time. I'm gonna ask him to change me seats and let me drive his car for the first time because <laughs> we didn't have a chance, we didn't have a chance to get gas in it. So, is it okay if I if I drive your car to the gas station? Oh, yeah. Okay. I, he said no, I was said, I mean, no, I'll drive. I was like, no, I just wanna <laughs> take it easy. You know, he's got all this carbon fiber ground effects and stuff like that, so I just wanna make sure I'm showing you how to go down the curbs and stuff and be yeah. careful and cautious. Right. And then uh, he's gonna get home for dinner. Uh, he's got kids coming over and uh, it's the holiday, so uh, they, they don't know about this car yet, do they? They know I'm getting it, but they don't know I'm getting it today. Ah, okay, good, 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 good. All right, so I'll reserve my Facebook post until you get home. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's switch seats. Okay. <laughs> What a guy. Hey, congratulations on your new car. Now get out and let me drive. <laughs> I can hold it for you. That's good. You want to hold it? Sure. I'm still recording, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have an associate producer now. Now you hear that little tire chop. Oh, okay. That's what that is. Yeah. That's that's the performance tires when it's cold. Mm -hmm. That's why I want you to take it real easy going home. Oh, yeah. So this apron coming down here is not that bad, uh -huh. uh, but like I tell a lot of folks, the steeper the incline or decline, right. the more horizontal you want the car to be, and that makes it easier to go down. So I'm gonna swing out just a little bit like this. Let me grab that camera for a hot sec. Okay. And then I'm just gonna kinda go like this, turn it at an angle. Okay, we're good. So you don't hit it straight up. Yep, exactly. Right. Just take your nice time, especially because you got all those carbon fiber ground effects down right, there, dude. Right, right. I mean, you know, it's going to take some getting used to, that's for sure. So I'm going to have to be careful just going up the curb in my driveway. Then. Yes. Yeah. All right, I got some Led Zeppelin cranking right now. We're full of gas. You thought you were going home. <laughs> I love it. I got all those speakers at home. Oh, it's great, man. See how she's giving me reminders? Because she wants me to turn around. Once you get going home, you'll be fine. Now, this one's not as steep as it was in the gas station, but see how that is? Yep. I'll approach that at an angle, okay. almost horizontal with the darn thing. Yeah. As soon as I get that first tire up, then I start making my turn real slightly. Okay. Easy breezy. The same thing with my curb at home. Come yes. in out almost bag, and then mm -hmm. once it once the second tire is up, then I cut it the rest of the way. Yep. Thank you. Congratulations. A part of your first new Corvette purchase. What an honor. A pleasure. Great. I had a blast, man. Me Merry, too. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. Tell Kim I said thank you. Will do. Be careful. I know you will. I mean, oh, yeah. it's a heck of a lot of money you just spent, but oh, yeah. uh, you know, I'm like that father Corvette, just oh, yeah. <laughs> reminding my kids, be careful. I'll be talking with you. Email Thanks, me man. that stuff. That's yeah, I will. Yeah. Yes, that is snowflakes, folks. All right, just like that, we're done again. But coming up very soon is another guy that we delivered at the end of the year I want you to meet. It's Jim, and he takes his Corvettes. He takes his Corvettes, and he makes them show cars. He's bought a new Grand Sport from us, and he's already working on that, and I can't wait to see that hit the show circuit this year. Coming up on our next vlog, we're going to show you Jim picking up his new Grand Sport and show you what he did to his old Grand Sport that he traded. Thanks for joining us, guys. Appreciate your support. You know the YouTube disclaimer, do da Yes, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification. Come back and see us. do da Ding dong. Man. See you next one. But seriously, please subscribe or else I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> Remember, if you're going to stop dreaming and you're going to start driving, I want to be your guy, I want to earn your business, and I want to be a part of your Corvette family. It's a Corvette song and a Corvette. I love it. Crank that sucker up for a second. Yeah. <laughs> You're talking about perfect timing, man, and outfitting. It's the little things, right, guys? It's the little things. We gotta listen to the chorus one time. I'll shut up for a second. Here we go. Come on, baby. <laughs> <laughs>